Okay, so the very, very first step is to figure out your design and size. So I did an eight by eight inch square here. And so one inch equals one foot outside. So I drew an eight by eight square and then I did my design. Then I put down the lines to measure the one inch squares. And after that, I laminated to protect it from the elements in the chalk and everything outside. Then we're going to take the measuring tape and some chalk. We're going to start pulling out our supplies. Let's use this guy. This guy should work. I'll be using the top line in my cement here as the top line for my art piece. And I'm just going to start measuring out my square. This is an eight foot, so I'm just gonna put a line down here to know where the edge is. And another mark here to note where the middle of my art piece is going to be. And one more at the beginning here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the bottom line and then both sides. And I'm just gonna show you guys a little trick here, how I get my line straight. I just step on the tape measure and draw my line, keep one foot on the measuring tape and just scoop down a few more inches and do it again. Okay, so now that those three lines are drawn in, next we need to mark every foot. So I'm just going around the whole large square and marking in every 12 inches. Okay, so now that we've gone around and we've marked every 12 inches around the whole square, we just need to connect the lines together. So I'm doing the vertical first and then I'll do the horizontal. Okay, so the squares are all in place and we can start sketching real quick. I'll show you what's left of the chalk. Not a whole lot left. You guys saw at the beginning, it was a full size chalk. So it does take a bit of chalk. I wanna show you another trick really quick right here. Right there, if you have imperfections or holes or cracks in your surface, you can actually use gaffer tape to cover it up, sort of like a Band-Aid. It seals it, makes it all nice and smooth, and then you could just chalk right over it. But I'm not gonna bother because it's on my own personal driveway. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm just having fun and showing you guys how to make a chalk painting, so. But if you need to make it look a little bit more perfect, that's one way you can do it and seal that up. Okay, so now we're ready to do the sketch. I've got white chalk I'm gonna be using. I'm just gonna freehand sketch the design over my square area. Okay, so as you can see, it's not perfect at all. It's a bit of a mess and that's fine because it's just a freehand sketch, but at least everything is now mostly in place. Um, so after this step, we're just gonna start cleaning up the lines to find the lines that we do wanna keep and get rid of the ones that we don't. Okay, so we're using tempera paint today and I've got my brush and we're just gonna go over the lines that I wanna keep and ignore the ones that we don't. Okay, so here it is. It looks pretty cool. I'm all done using that black paint to trace over the lines I wanna keep. I'm gonna ignore the white lines. I'll actually use a brush and just brush those off tomorrow. But I think this is it for today and tomorrow we get to start coloring. So I realized that a broom is actually easier than a brush. So here we go. Quick tip here, if you are creating a work of art on a really rough surface like I am, you can actually use either your fingers or a brush to scrub in the pigment so that it gets in all those little cracks. And now I'm gonna start layering in my colors. I'm putting down yellow, then orange, and then some pink and blue and just scrubbing it right in. Okay, so now if you wanna blend your colors together, you're gonna be using a brush like the one I have here. And I'm going to be gently rubbing my brush over the sky area to blend those colors together. I'm gonna to start in the light area, so the yellow, and gently work my way out. Okay, so left side is not blended and the right side is. You see the difference? It's pretty cool. 
So I'll take a second and just show you guys what kind of pastels and chalk that I'm using. This is Artist Pastels, about $25 for the box. It's really good for saturated bright pigments. And I'm also using Crayola Sidewalk Chalk, uh, which is better for the larger areas. The pigments are not quite as strong. They are a bit soft, more like pastels, but they do a really good job covering and you can layer them really easily. And now I'm just going to start alternating between using my brush and brushing in my colors and scrubbing in my colors into the ground. Okay, so end of day one. It looks pretty cool. I think I'm just going to touch up the black a little and call it a day and I will return tomorrow and keep working on this. Okay, it is day two. I'm going to try to finish this up in just a couple hours here. Um, again, I'm just going to start layering on my colors and then brushing them in. I also, I ran out of green, so I have to make it. So I chose a yellow that had a tint of green in it and a couple blues here. And I'm just going to layer those in and then blend them together so that I create green. So just like you would with paint, you can mix your chalk colors here to get the color that you want. I'm just going to go back over my lines one more time to make sure that they are nice and thick and they pop against that color. And I am basically done here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below it really helps out the channel thank you again for joining me and hopefully some of you will be able to come out to the la strada de pastelli festival this summer and until next week everyone bye